all will participate. I extend a warm welcome to one and all. Thank you. May I request our senior member, our uh, beloved uh, professor. Uh, we always call him as LSJ, sir. <laughs> sir, you can start your uh, presentation, sir, please. Thank you. I have become, thank you for inviting me to my home. Sir? To my home, that is Institution of Engineers at PLG Center. I was joint secretary in the period 1973 to 70, maybe six years. Then I have become the secretary. Then in 19, 2000, I have become the chairman. Then a few years I was active. Then I think I, I please, I think all, the, all of you, you have to excuse me. I have yes, recently I have not participated in any of the activities of institution of engineers. Maybe that I want to give all my fellow members a chance. That is an excuse only. But I should thank now Priya and our secretary for bringing me again into the fold. Thank you again. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I want to be my good old friend. So, in the institution of engineers, we even seven members are attending. Mr. Rajkumar will be there. So, so he, I think uh, as a secretary, our friend might have seen the low attendance, but these, these things were in those days also. But there are some people who regularly attended the institution of engineers members and activities. Mr. Rajkumar is one. I think he's continued to do over nearly 40 years. So congratulations, Rajkumar. So he is the most apt chairman because of his hard and dedicated work with the institution of engineers has gone now 100 years. But our, our center has centered, has celebrated in Golden Jubilee. We were part of it. But after that, somebody has to run it in a nice way. Now, I am happy that it is in the right hands. And it is, it will, it will do much better than what we have done earlier. So, thank you. Shall we go to the topic? Thank you, sir. Yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. Sir, it is my great pleasure and privilege to introduce the great personality who make his actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more and become more. And you are such a leader, sir. Dr. LSJ graduated in 1965 from PSG College of Tech. He did his M.Tech degree in Structural Engineering IIT Madras in 1967. He was awarded the President's Gold Medal for his outstanding performance in his PG program. Later, he obtained his Ph.D. degree in 1978 from the University of Madras. Starting as a lecturer at PSG College of Technology in 1967, he has ri risen to the position of Professor and Dean of Civil Engineering over an academic career of 33 years. He has a very rich research experience, having successful guidance, more than 90 PG projects and three PhDs. Added to his credit, about 59 technical papers published in reputed journals and in conferences, as well published three books and three monographs. One of his book, books, Basics in Structural Design, written in Tamil, and was published by the Tamil University, Tanjavur. Dr. L.S.G. Jagopal, sir, has proven his 
class in the area of R and D and consultancy as well. He has designed and overseen the construction of number of R C bricks, masonry, and steel structures all over the country, and is specialized in forms and structures needed for cost and weight reduction, like reinforced brick masonry tanks, lattice purlins, double plane trusses, pyramids, and validated structures having introduced many such novel features in the structures one of the landmark being the structural design for the world's largest column free exhibition all of 10000 square meters at kodisia intech ground grounds as appeared in the linka book of records its recent design excellence has been portrayed in the phase 2 of kodisia all where he had used steel arches with web plates as novel design included concrete gandhi grinder radial hydraulic gates braced chimneys etc and rb tanks of 25 lakhs liters stands for his design capabilities with the new economical materials he is associated with the administrative building of everest rookie which is one of the 12 structure which had been mentioned in architects conclave spain one of his recent design of isha coimbatore is a lattice arch spanning a record of 80 meter distance he is a member of various technical committee committees appointed by the government of tamil nadu distress monitoring and rehabilitation of meenakshi amman temple structures madurai safety assessment of housing board and slum clearance board buildings tamil nadu and condition monitoring and restoration of contour canal tamil nadu he is also associated with the renovation of major temples like tiruperundurai he is presently managing director of concern Mirtoon Structures Limited, Coimbatore. His firm is official consultant for Tamil Nadu Police Housing Board, Housing Board, Slum Clearance Board, PWD, Iways, Salem and Coimbatore Municipal Corporations, Chennai Port Trust, Coimbatore Airport, etc. His overseas assignment includes project in South Africa, Malaysia and Nepal. He is an active member of ISTE, and he was the past chairman of Institution of Engineers India, Coimbatore Local Ch- Centre. He is the member of Academic Council of PSG uh, College of Technology, GCT Coimbatore, Karpagam University, and even KPR Institute of Engineering and Technology. Now I request Dr. L S J Sir to take over the session. Now the session is yours, sir. Thank you. Thank you for the nice words of introduction. Thank you, sir. I think I don't need any introduction. Anyway, this introduction is very, very old. They accept that uh, she has added. I am a member of uh, the board of studies of uh, KPR. Except that all the other things are heard so many times. so let me come to a topic which is of interest for so many people i will try to present it in a way it can be understood by all see when we design the structures for protection against all the natural elements rain heat and wind so i have taken this topic but most of the people are not aware of it so the slide which you are seeing now is a tea shop around i have seen this when i was a young boy the roof has been on the edges of the roof they have put the cycle tires and uh, i was wondering why they have put the cycle tires at the edges they have not done that over the entire area so the native wisdom of wind design is very well known 
by the thatched roof people of the old tea shops. I think now the tea shops are having pakka RC building, etc. But I will come back to this slide later. How this wisdom is having a theoretical background. Let us come to the loads on the structure. There are two types of loads. One load is understood by all. That is, what is the weight of the structure that we call it as a dead load. Then, what activities are going on in that structure, we call it as the live load. These things are well known. Almost all the, all the engineers are aware of it. But there is people have less understood and less aware of the lateral load design. The lateral load design, there are two major lateral loads. One is a wind load, another is a seismic load. Then there are minor lateral loads, hydrostatic loads, and earth pressure. When you see the diagram, the gravity loads are going down and the lateral loads are, gravity loads are not going to affect the structure. The lateral loads are having a tendency to pull it down. Next slide, please. So, as far as the vertical loads are concerned, we don't have much problem. But whenever a lateral load is coming, unless the structure is well understood and designed for that, the two things are going to happen. One, the structure will overturn or the structure will slide over. These are the two major effects the structure has to be designed. Most of the civil engineers themselves are not aware of it. These things we call it as stability rules. Most of our civil engineers are aware of things called strength and stiffness. They are concerned with major gravity loads. The earthquake load as well as the wind load are little understood for stability design. Next slide, please. The preventing, the sliding and overturning are going to be prevented by two ways. One, having a heavy, void foundation and piles. You might have seen somewhere, I think our electricity board people might have seen the towers are given very, very heavy foundation. When you see the micro, when you see our, uh, the, uh, the wind towers, wind turbines and towers, they will be providing a foundation of 3 meter by 3 meter by 3 meter, etc. So, people are worried, why so much foundation? So, it has to take the overturning. There is another way we can provide and avoid overturning is by tying it to a pile. So, these are the two means of preventing the sliding and overturning of the structure due to wind. Next slide, please. There are another effect there. Even if the sliding and overturning is prevented, the structure by its stiffness or flexibility will change the shape, change the shape as so shown in the figure. So we call it lateral racking. The lateral lead is moving. So when the strength, the joint strength is not sufficient, it will rack as shown in the, the left side figure. There are three ways we can overcome that. 
One, providing the cross brazing as section number two, as figure number two, or the, the next figure. Third, instead, we can have a monolithic construction, the beam and the column can be joined together with a rigid joint. Third, all these things, instead of that, we can have a wall, a very huge wall, which cannot, which cannot be moved over. This wall, we call it as a shear wall. The first, the cross brazing is, can be in different types and the cross brazing, all these systems are useful for seismic loads also. We will not deal about this now for the presently. We will come back to that in a later lecture. Next slide, please. What is wind? Wind is the movement of air. What it caused actually because of the convection where the pressure is low, the wind rushes in and it acts on the structure. Normal wind in our area is around 10 meter per second, which is just felt. So when it is 20 meter per second, just you will be having a heavy wind feeling. Now, the design winds are usually in the order of around 30, 40, 50 meter per second. I will come back to that later. What the wind will do? When the wind is obstructed, there will be a pressure. When it is deviated, there will be a suction. These are the two effects of the wind. When you design a structure, you have to be careful. If the pressure of the wind is able to meet by the member concerned, or the suction is taken care of by a tear weight. Next slide, please. There are some structures. There are structures normally people, with the, we, 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 yes, we are seeing our buildings, houses, etc. These structures are primarily designed for gravity loads. But there are some structures which are designed for the wind. If they are not properly designed, they will fail during the wind. So, we have heard, first of all, the simple compound wall. How many compound walls have failed uh, during a cyclone or during a heavy wind? Number two, you might have seen on wayside number of hoardings have flattened. Number three, the chimneys. Number four, the towers. Number five, the chi the guide chimney. Number six, the steel water tanks. These are the structures mainly designed, the columns and the bracings are designed for the wind load only. No other load is there. When the, let us take the water tank, even the water tank when there is no water, that is the worst primary case for failure. Next slide please. The structures where other loads are also present, but the major design has to be done for the wind load. They are our industrial sheds as shown in the figure. Next please. These are again the maze. These are the structures eventually fail if not designed. The design of these structures are extremely important as far as the wind is concerned. When these, these structures, when not proper, properly done for wind, they have got a probable chance of failure is extremely more. You might have seen in our airport. Airport, they have given 
tensile roofing structure and due to uh, due to when there is a normal heavy wind the structure has gone so the the tensile structure has been collapsed and then we have re relay so these are the these are the cases where you have to be extremely careful in designing the wind next please what wind will do after all wind after all wind let us see what has happened our varda cyclone recently at chennai we have seen the electrical force which are so strong has been bent like just to those i are idli next move previous slide please previous slide previous slide first first slide please yeah next uh, next 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 yeah, okay yeah, that was also, sorry keep it please the yeah keep it so are you seeing what is happening in the second slide the wind has uprooted a heavy box from the lorry chassis and down so this much will be the capacity of the wind this much is the capacity of the wind so uprooting that heavy weight container from its location imagine how much force the wind might have exerted next slide please more you have not the how entire house has been collapsed the second slide entire roof has gone next slide please so this is happened in tirupur very ordinary wind the whole structure has gone and the purlins the i think the, the triangular purlins are the strongest purlins have been bent and the truss has lost the shape so wind can do anything like this next please so the hoardings next please again a tower next please so the wind induced failure there are three kinds one the wind will affect the it will not affect the structure it will affect the cladding walls sheets and fixtures so usually the cladding will be gone at the edges or near a gable wall you next time you whenever there is a wind failure you will be seeing the first is the edges might have gone or the area very near to the wall cable wall will be end wall will be affected the second second type of failure let's please will be the elements the structural elements beams purlins whole structure will be standing the beams purlins and trusses will be will be might have failed might have buckled or might have been relocated or moved out of the place third please the whole structure will collapse when the foundations or the holding of the structure is not firm enough the whole structure might be overturned and then collapse this structure structures i have seen in an electrical tower near krishna near krishnagiri has fallen they have been anchored to a 
rock, but still there was the whole thing fin. So this will be the enormous nature of the fin. Sir, we, we will be there. We are here to design for that. So the nature, always it is kind to us, but many times will show it has got the power. So this is one of the cases. This has happened in Pondicherry. Next, please. Wind force. Many people will come to us. Sir, I, I, my, I want to, I am, I am having my workshop to be designed. Okay. Sir, where is, where is the workshop coming? Sir, it is coming such and such a place. Sir, that place, the wind is so heavy. I will ask them, how much heavy? Sir, it is very heavy, sir. You have to design it for a heavy wind. Now, the question is, in engineering, everything has to be quantified. The quantification can be done by the code or the recommendations. There is a code, IS 875, Bureau of Indian Standards 875, Part 3, Wind Loads. They have given the wind intensity are different places. So we let us come to the major India, you will be seeing an yellow color. The major India, the yellow color, comprises from Himachal Pradesh to Kanyagumari. Our Coimbatore belongs to the yellow zone where the wind velocity is 39 meter per second. Then comes the minimum, a minimum wind, the Bangalore area, the Karnataka, part of Telangana, and part of Mysore are, will be having the lowest wind, 33 meter per second. Then, our Swichirapal area, the Kaveri Delta region, and there are two places in India where the entire area is fertile. One is Indo Gangetic Plain and the Kaveri Delta. These two places will be having a wind velocity of 47 meters per second. Then comes the great east coast, the great east coast, where every wind people are fearing. Every alternate day, our weather report man will be saying, today the sea is in danger, don't go for fishing. So this sort of things will be happening from Nagapatnam, to West Bengal, Calcutta. Please like this. Please like this. So then, the question of coming, so, say for, for example, there is a change from wind from one area to other. See, Coimbatore is 39 meter per second, while E road will be having a 47 meter per second. So this sort of things will be having. But after people are thinking, E road he will be having a lesser wind velocity, wind velocity for design compared to Coimbatore. Sorry, more of wind rumbo jasi sir. This is the opinion people will give. Well, what is that? What is that? Why they are saying that? I will come to the next slide, please. So the wind velocity of different places, Coimbatore, Chennai 50, Coimbatore 39, Madurai 39, Salem 47. So Salem and Coimbatore, even though they are 160 kilometers apart, there is a wind velocity difference. Trichirapalli 47, Bangalore 33.
Hello. Hello, sir. Audible, sir. So, sir. Sir, audible, sir. Audible, sir. Audible. Audible, okay. sir. Audible, sir. Audible. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Ah, the wind velocity which we have seen. we call it as the basic wind velocity for example when we take coimbatore the inner area of town hall and karvathambatti near airport both are coimbatore only both are having 39 meter per second but there is a difference the first difference is the height and terrain when the height goes up and up the wind velocity will go up in terrain means that we are going to define four types of terrain where there are no obstruction for the wind so let us take the airport area or karbathapatti area then worst area is the town hall Where we, where we have got the number of multi-story buildings are there. No wind can enter. So this, this is a major difference there. So according to the height and terrain, the wind velocity will change. Number two, when there is a upward slope, say let us go to the Maruda Malai, either our Maruda Malai or Meru Padayam, these areas are the foothills. the wind velocity are going to be multiplied by a factor then the nearness of the sea the near of the sea coast we will be always will be having cyclones so the cyclone factor has to be taken care of for example the vizag the even though the wind velocity design was 50 meter per second the cyclone effect was in the order of 80 meter per second now why don't we design it for 80 meter per second so it is colossal waste of money to put a structure which can have the wind once in 1000 years so the once in 1000 years has now come but normally we will be designing a wind for 100 years period then the last are the most important certain structures hey if a compound wall fails nothing will happen if a hoarding fails nothing will happen but if a house fails or an industrial structure fails so much will be the loss to the structure as well as the people the inmates as well as the machinery so we have got called important factor so the wind velocity will be changed k1 due to the importance of the structure k2 height and the environment of the structure number 3 whether it is on the mountain slope or on an incline number 4 it is nearness of the sea so due to these factors the wind velocity will get changed next please next please the wind actually the risk coefficients depends upon the importance of the building let us take coimbatore any general building we will be having what the temporary structures boundary walls the important factor is 0.76 the low degree risk farm works buildings coding 0.92 communication towers 1.06 so this is again when the structure fails how much will be other things will be affected due to this this is a, these factors are given then number 2 next please uh, actually i said wind velocity varies from the height when it goes up and up actually up to 10 meter level the wind velocity is assumed to be constant beyond that it is going to be you will be seeing the curve you will be seeing a hyperbolic parabolic curve going very high next please 
Next, please. So, according to the ground, I said, previous, please. According to the nature of the ground, sorry, in the factory, the wind is heavy, the wind is heavy, the wind is heavy. Only number of obstructions are not there at all. When you go to the seashore, you will be having no wind, no obstruction of any kind. So similarly, a barren land. So our Karmudamati area or our Palakadu road, when you have got nothing obstruction is there, you will be having, you will be having very, very heavy wind falling. Number two, when we have got that some obstructions, some obstructions, very few obstructions, we call it category two. When there is a heavy obstructions, category four. There are, this, this is our town hall or the last figure. According to numerous tall structures in city center, are very few tall structures and few tall structures, no tall structures, the wind velocity will get changed. Next, please. Next, please. So, you will see in this figure, at, say, let us take 30 meter height, when in the town hall area, we are having a coefficient of 0 0.97. At the open area, we have got a factor of 1.15. So, 20% change will be there on the on the wind velocity. So, if this place is a heavy, is a coimatone load of carbutha material over the tower, we will be able to town hall and go on the wind field. This is this sort of things are there. Next, please. Next, please. When there is a when there is a when the wind is there, the normally the hill obstructs the wind and feed it back to the structure. So, whenever a structure is built on the slope, you should be extra careful as far as possible. Bring it to the ground. Next, please. Cyclone. I said, I said earlier. These, these things have been introduced recently. The, there are two areas. This K4 is for only two areas. There is an east coast area and the Gujarat Kutch area. These are the two places where the cyclone will be affecting the structure very much. So they wanted to have extra carefulness by multiplying another factor called cyclone region factor. Next, please. So, let us take what is that wind is about. What the window wind will do is a simple example. Actually, the minimum chimney will be having 30 meter height and its diameter is 2 meter. What it will do? Next, please. The chimney is going to overturn. How much force it is going to overturn with a moment of 71 ton a meter. With a moment of 71 ton a meter is a heavy overturning force. What is that we can do about it? Say earlier, they have they were designed escalators. Earlier, they were designing the foundation to cater for the weight. But presently, we are designing the structure by using the mud as the anchorage weight. The, the depth we go. So, you, you can see in the figure, the adjacent area over the footing, the earth is there. The earth anchor will able to balance it. So, usually for this area, we need a base depth of 3 meters, it's not correct if I put it at a depth of 2.5 meter, we will be having a foundation of 3 meter by 3 meter that seems to be heavy. At a depth 8 feet down, 
10 feet by 10 feet for a simple pipe. We can call it chimney is a pipe, 100 feet by 6 feet pipe. We need a foundation of this much heavy. Definitely it is required. So we do, so when it is not done properly, so you will be seeing when there is sir, normally the biomotor will be having 39, the biomotor will be having a wind velocity of around a 10 meter per second. So the worst wind velocity which we have seen is 20 meter per second. The design wind velocity is 39 meter per second. It may come tomorrow or it may not come at all, but the structure has to be designed for that. Next please. As far as the structures are concerned, usually the structure, the roof and the wall are going to bear the wind. The wind, when it is on the roof, it is trying to suck it up. It is going to push it up. It is going to push it up. So many people will ask, Sir, earlier I had an asbestos sheet. Now I am going to room it, put a steel sheet. Can we have a lighter structure? Actually, the other way is true. The asbestos will be having a heavy weight. It will try to withstand the wind much better than the so-called the metal sheet. So this sort of that, sir, when we when we design a structure, when we have a metal sheet, are you going to give you a light truss rather than when we design it for an asbestos sheet? Actually, the other way is true. The structure will be heavy. Now, then there is uh, the question is how much is the wind? The wind velocity is going to be converted into a pressure. Converted into a pressure means I have put it in red. P Z. The wind pressure will be zero point six wind velocity square. Then next slide, please. The wind, next slide, please. Next slide, please. So the wind also, according to the area, it may change. We will we will not see that now. Next, please. Next, please. Next, next. Next. Okay. Next, please. Next, one more. Okay. The wind, according to the type of the structure, the wind velocity has been given for the wind pressure how it is going to affect the structure, the wind pressure is given in the code. We call it an external wind pressure. This is according to the wall, the wind pressure is different. According, uh, according to the double roof, according to a single roof, the empty single roof, coding, wall, everywhere, the wind pressure is the same, how it is going to affect the structure, what is the multiplier that has been given for these structures are given in the code. For the time being, these values are given in the code, those values will be taken and we will design for that. This is the way we will take it and then we will go to some next like this. So the wind, there is an external wind is there, then according to the opening, so when yes, uh, people will say, I when the whole open shed is there, wind will be having an internal pressure or internal suction. That we call it as an internal pressure pressure coefficient. For example, in open shed will be having balls of open means it is 0 0.7 suction or pressure. When the wall openings are 5 to 20 percent, it will be 0 0.5. The pressure multiplied by this value. 
If it is less than 2, it is a closed shed means 0 0.2. When three sides are closed and one side open, the so-called internal wind pressure with which the whole roof is going to be blown out will be equal to 0 0.8. Next please. The wind pressure is additive of the two, the external wind and internal wind multiplied by area in which the wind is impinging and the wind pressure design that is 0 0.6 of V velocity square. Next please. Next please. So the external wind coefficients are given in the code. I think I will give one or two examples and then leave. Next please. So for example, a cylindrical shape, the external wind pressure, the total force will be equal to this constant Cf multiplied by area and the design wind pressure. Area multiplied by pressure and a multiplier constant. If the cylinder is rough, the cylinder is rough, the wind velocity will be H by D ratio up to 2, we will be having 7. Very rarely 2 will be there. Normally it will be greater than 20. When it is greater than 20 for a rough, for example, a cylindrical silo of concrete, we will be having 1. For cylindrical silo of steel, we will be having 0 0.6. Next, please. Your wall and coding, the values have been given. Next, please. Next, please. There is an example. We will leave the example for the time being. So, the only thing, please, 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 look below that. The only thing is, so the wind, not the wind, wherever the coding has failed, you might have seen it has twisted and failed. So, the when the wind, have, wind blows from one direction, the direction in which the wind is impinging will be extremely more compared to the leeward side where the pressure is less. So in the result, you will be having a torsional moment. That is the reason why most of the present wind holding structures will be having a circular pipes for the column which is very high capability of resisting torsion. Next, please. So, then I think the local wisdom, the wind, whatever may be the wind, there are certain areas the wind pressure is going to be extremely high. These are the edges and the ends of the building. So, when the normal external pressure is 1, the, in these areas, the external pressure is 2. So, even our good fellow engineers have not taken account of this local pressure. The two ways this local pressure is taken care of. I will come back to that later. Next please. So, you will see the local pressure effect. Whenever there is a wind, the one-fourth, sorry, one-seventh of the width, one-seventh of the width will be subjected to heavy wind with a CD means twice, twice the normal wind. Next, please. Similarly, the edges are the other, other area of the building which will be heavily affected. Next please. So let me, let's come to the, uh, the good old, the native rule, putting the tires on the edges. So that defines why people are more worried of other places, the weight of the thatched shape itself is capable. Only at the ends, they may be having certain difficulties. 
So let us so let us not worry about the structural engineering for the time being. Let us come to a simple common rules which we can adopt. For example, when you are building a house, don't give too much asymmetry into that. Build the structure as symmetrical fashion as possible. Then when we come into the structure, walls, you try to give a reinforce whenever a compound wall is done. Try to provide a RC column at 3.5 meter center to center. A continuous wall will be having more probability of failure than a cut wall. So cut the wall at 3.5 meters center to center. The roof rise, that is the hip of the roof, the center of the roof should be the rise we call it L by 8, lesser than L by 8. So usually we will, whenever galvalium sheet is there, we will be going for L by 20. That is what we are doing now. The rise is L by 40, sorry. L by 40 we are going. We are going for a 3 degree slope. That rise is the earlier. These slopes are having a rise of around 12 degrees to 18 degrees. Now we are having a 3 degree slope. Whenever a 3 degree slope roof is given, it should be designed by an expert for an ordinary man when you are going to put your own roof sheet or roof sheet roof, try to maintain a slope, a rise greater than L by 8. The roof, the outer overhang, the outer overhang don't provide more than 1 foot 6 inches or 450 mm. The opening on any side, try to restrict it to 50% of the wall area. Next please. Then when the truss is given, they, they say all the, just have a look at the truss. After all the look, the truss is going to bear weight of the sheet, which is going to be 5 kg per meter square. There is no other load is there on the truss. But the truss is designed for a wind means the bottom cord will be under compression. So the bottom cord has to be tied from end to end with your bottom tie. Number one. Number two, as we have seen in the other figure where the Tirupur area, the whole truss will be lifted up. The, the whole truss will be compensated by an anchorage. The anchorage can be in the form of a lintel overlaid with the brick on the top. So the brick on the top when it is tied to the lintel, will take care of the external suction force. So when you do, just when you do your masonry structure, when you keep the truss on that, the masonry will very well take care of it as a gravity load. But when the wind comes, the whole truss will be lifted up and put down over the ground. This has happened in several types. So, the rule number two, whenever you design a roof truss over a masonry, tie it, see that anchorage is provided. So, it should be, one way would be provide a continuous lintel and tie the truss to the lintel. Then when the sheets are laid, I think the ordinary, when you just have a look at the sheets, Every sheet will be having a width of about 0.9 meter to 0.85 meter, 0.9 meter. Around 1 meter it will be there. So, the, when the sheets are laid, every 1 meter they will be having the bolt tied. Whether, whether it is an asbestos sheet or metallic sheet, this is the rule we are doing. But when we come to the edges, please, at least 
this has to be gone into your mind when you come to the edges reduce the purling spacing to the half and you provide additional bolt tying bolt to the purling as we have given there next please so thank you very much i try to avoid most of the formulas and the entry the intricates constants etc etc that is for the people who are going to design the structures most of the, the civil engineering students are the practicing civil engineers for a general engineer please understand wind is the wind is the major force for the industrial structures or the structures standing in isolation for a tall tower thank you very much thank you sir we'll wait for few minutes let the participants can go for discussion session sir they will post in the youtube chat box i'll just go through and tell you the questions sir let them type it and yes let them type it no questions has a follow up sir okay nam question beta thappa iduvomo abingiradunala da nariya per kelvi kekkuradilla every question is a welcome idu adhaavadhu indha question vande innikku indha topic la irukkuru nu avasiyam kedaiyadhu any civil engineering question you can ask please sir yeah no okay sir one general question was there like uh, just brief about some wind turbine construction wind turbine okay wind type okay wind turbine a yeah, structural construction you are interested right yes sir abadi thana Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wind turbine will work with your normal wind speed. So, even though the fiber-to-air wind speed is thirty-nine meter per second, the usual wind speed for the turbine will be in the order of fifteen meter to eighteen meter per second. If the wind velocity exceeds, it gets locked up. It gets locked up. Beyond that, it will not work. So. normally the wind turbines are designed the towers are designed in a locked condition rather than when the wind turbine is working wind turbine is working means with the wind velocity of around 12 meter to 18 meter it will work less than 12 meter it just it, will, it is the efficiency will be very low beyond 18 meter it will not run safely so they get locked up so it is not so the when the wind turbine the blades are moving we are not designing it when it is getting locked up we are designing it next please hello hello sir hello yes sir yes sir you are audible sir sir during the idu கஜா புயல் வந்தப்ப டாங்கியூ डिस्ट्रिक्टல ஈவன் திருச்சி ஏரியால கூட சம் ஆஃப் தி காம்பவுண்ட் வால்ஸ் ஹேட் கொலாப்ஸ்ட் 
and almost all the design structures with the most modern engineering design parameters have failed, particularly in the electric board many structures that almost all structures have failed. Uh, while that is that is being so, how could the Tanjur temple, which has been designed and constructed, when there is no conventional design of parameters, conventional design of construction or fair, just not uh, moved even a this micro mm? How that has happened, sir? Can you comment on that? Priya, can you can you? I think your voice is clear. Sir, uh, during Gaja Puyel, Tanja Urla, uh, walls Elamme problem ache. So Adila Vanda issues a face Pandrataka in a solution, Nila, the relevant a comment Pandan and Kikaranga, sir. Okay. Uh, and the Tanja Ur wall constructions Elamme extremely interesting. They are most of the places they are having that is that type of walls the precast panels which are inserted into the column. So even now in Coimbatore also, people are having a column with grooves with inserted wall panels. So this is a type of structure which, which Coimbatore has borrowed from Sanjavu. So the, the whole thing is fine. But except that even though I said Every ten, every 10 feet, we should have a concrete wall, a concrete column. Yes, they are having a concrete column. But the foundation for the concrete column, the depth to which this concrete column should go is extremely shallow. This concrete column should go at least two and a half feet to three feet into the ground. They are not doing it. So, so, so the, the problem is the structure is the structure, design, everything is fine. The finally it comes to the ground, the minimum rule they have to follow. Tanjavur area up to Tanjavur, we are having 47 meter per second. So 47 squared, it will be in the order of as far as Paimatur is concerned, in around 50 times more, 50 percent more. 50% more, 1.5 1, 1. times of Coimbatore wind pressure. What they are doing for Coimbatore is they are applying in Tanjavur, they are bound to fail. This are, I, I have personally seen it. So the, the foundations are not sufficient. The foundations are not sufficient. sufficient means, I said the depth of the foundation is not sufficient. Hello. Sir, not audible. Hello. Audible. Hello. Yeah, sir, you are audible, sir. Oh, sir, another question. Yeah, sir. Yeah. We about, uh, when we talk about Masandis, we in civil engineering we study about English bond and Flemish bond in the first year or second year of a civil engineering. Why we are not studying in engineering about the structures which are built about thousand years back, particularly the South Indian temples and palaces, which are supposed to be one of the best in the structures across the world. Why this is not being included in the syllabus? Sir, uh, shall I repeat the question? Sir, uh, he is asking. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll repeat, sir. Sir, he is asking about that. We are reading about uh, uh, English bond and other Flemish bond, everything in the civil engineering syllabus. But why we are not um, teaching or go through uh, our late, I mean, uh, old temples like uh, uh, before 10,000 years or 1,000 years old temples, why we are not studying about that temples? Younger Kalamala Mudjirche, he was on the Puria Kalo, Auga Kalan, Auga, the answer for no. Huh? Nah, Sorry. 
Tanjavur temple are told, okay, there are two things we have to focus, say about the, our temples. One, the temple logic of design has not been codified. If in Amur Lavande, in the Vande, the Siddha Marda Namaksa Panamatan Sonomilia, Adamadri, and the Padaya construction loader methods of Vande, Nama accept under the Villa. The reason one there, or the Dundee reason Solom, or reason one there, Aunga codify Pandi Vikila. In the depth of that, for example, let us take Pradhis or a temple. The Pradhisar temple, the learner, civil engineer says, telling you that the tension and energy foundation tension and energy is not going to be able to do it. That is why the theory is clear and clear. The Tanjavur temple is the same as the Tamil Aringer. The Tamil Aringer is the same as the Tamil Aringer. The Tamil Aringer is the same as the Tamil Aringer. The Tamil Aringer is the same as the Tamil Aringer. The Tamil Aringer is the same. Other than the people, Mother Lady, Edi Vecha, or Veda Priya Mari Yildranga, of the syllabus of Kundu Angla and Motherla. Number one. Number two, the most of the temples we are scaling down. And I give the engineering mechanics theory, soil mechanics theory, structural engineering theory. Other than that, structure on the people of the Pradesh or a temple on the for a wide of, for a height of 80 feet, this much is the foundation. Now, the other one is the one that 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 is the one most of the things are by experience or scaling down or scaling up. So this is the second reason why those things have not been included. But there is nothing wrong in studying about it. Definitely there is nothing wrong in studying about it. Things of other Thavi Allah, Flemish Bandi, English Bandi, you in the use for it to come out. Other particular lay are you for Tali Uta in Abdina? I am for you. One more question. Whether we do have separate code books for wind tunnel designing? See, wind report the very go and the coefficients are long contributed under the mechanical people. Meaning a wind tunnel, a danger or device on the very rarely people are having. I think in Coimbatore. I do have PhD tech is having and another college with I think what there is one more college has having it but uh, the wind tunnel is a very very rare item and it's extremely costly item I think only two colleges having it uh, so and the mechanical engine side of it is more more me. And the coefficients and our pull down the coefficient of which it is number design model. Hold on. Anything further? Sir, one more question. Last question. So, as you mentioned that uh, wind velocity at Trichy is more than Coimbatore, but okay. Coimbatore is located near Western Ghats. What might be the reason for wind velocity at Trichy and D road is more? Sichi would have been another. Almost up to Tirupur, up to Tirupur wind velocity is 47 meter per second, and Guayamatur will be having 39 meter per second. Right, Tana? Yes, sir. I, I, will, I will I'll translate Priya's question. You are a paradox, sir. Namur one day. Namurla Mada on the Kali Lunga, the Yellow Nalu Mada Bayo. To October, November, and December, 
then I can go quick. I, I have answered the question. The act three in Coimbra two is a rain shadow region. Both, as far as the southwest monsoon is concerned, your Palakkad pass is having a barrier. So, what Kuchi is experience or Palakkad is experience? He is not coming to Madhukare because of your Western God and the so called the Palakkad Pass. So the Western wind is not coming. And the Eastern wind enters from Trichy and when it dies down at the velocity dies down at the Kilpur, hence that wind is also not coming there. As far as Tamil Nadu is concerned, the lowest wind is in our area only. And when you come to Bangalore, no wind will come there. So it is 33 meters per second. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the valuable session. Now, I request Dr. Ram Mohan, sir, Secretary uh, IEI, to propose the vote of thanks. Very good afternoon to everyone. It is an immense pleasure for me to deliver the vote of thanks. We thank our beloved chairman, Institution of Engineers India, Payam to Local Center, Dr. Priya Nadrajan, for his welcome address. Thank you, sir. We are highly privileged to thank today's chief guest, Dr. L.S. Jayakopal, Managing Director, Mitran Shankshar Private Limited, Kwayamathur, our eminent past chairman, Institution of Engineers India, Kwayamathur Local Center, great professor, great role model for all the young engineers for sharing his expertise on design for lateral efforts. Thank you, sir. Thank you for sharing and uh, your you. support in all aspects, sir. Thank you, sir. We thank Dr. A. Priya, Associate Professor, Department of Civil Engineering, KPR Inst Institute of Engineers, Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore, for organizing this wonderful webinar. We thank the principal, the professors, the management of KPR Institute, Engineering and Technology for organizing this event. We thank all the Institution of Engineers India members, our dear students, and all invitees for their valuable presence to make this event great success. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, thank you sir. Thank you. Thank we you. officially close this webinar. Thank you once again on behalf of KPR Institute of Engineering and Technology to IEA and uh, Dr. LSJ, sir, for your valuable spending time with us, sir. Thank you, sir.